welcome to my channel my name is Doug and I'm back with another fountain pen video it is high school science project day I'm your host professor pen proton I, I power a clock with uh, with a potato shut up you can do that wouldn't that solve the world's energy crisis <laughs> no <laughs> and I was coerced into doing this experiment by my YouTube pen reviewer colleague and fellow Canuck, Doodlebud. So if you don't like this project or the fact that it's the same as Doodlebud's, blame him. I recently reviewed this Magon RS1 Titanium, clone of the Caveco Sport. I got an email from Doodlebud basically saying, dude, you have to ionize that pen. Now, I'm no engineer or scientist. I once took my dad's lawnmower apart to see how it worked. That's when I got my paper out to pay him back to get a new lawnmower. I think I still owe him 20 bucks. Anyway, so I gave this project a go and I came out with this beautiful rainbow colored titanium Magon. This pen will really piss off Caveco. The basic premise as explained to me by Professor Doodlebud with help from Wikipedia is this. Titanium is sometimes called the rainbow metal because if you put it into an electrolyte solution and then pass some voltage through it, the metal will develop an oxidation layer which will diffract light in various wavelengths depending on the voltage applied in non-tech geek language it goes all pretty stores are pretty aren't they <laughs> and i like the results so much i did it to my moon man ti 200 titanium as well so let's go give this experiment a try right now <laughs> Okay, so here's what I did to set up for this experiment. I've taken my two titanium pens apart, so I just have the titanium pieces alone. Here is the Magon RS1 in pieces, and I removed the top finial and the cap liner, as well as the nib and the converter, and I've got all the parts in this little case right here to keep them safe. And here is my Magon TI-200 titanium and it was a little bit more challenging to take apart because the clip is spring-loaded but I got that cap liner out and the top finial so it's all just titanium and I've attached the section to the barrel on this because I think I want to do it all as one piece to try to get the colors even Whereas the RS1, I'm going to do the cap uh, separately, and I've got the section attached to the barrel. So that's all pure titanium right there. Then I needed a bunch of batteries. So I've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Twelve batteries, which, if my math is correct, will get me up to around 100 volts, depending on losses. Here's a color chart that shows the various colors created depending on the voltage applied. Then I needed some nitrile gloves, not because the solution I'm putting them in is caustic, but because I don't want to transfer the oils from my fingers onto the titanium, because that'll change the, the coloration, the oxidation on there. In fact, I took all the titanium pieces and put it in this bath of uh, Windex overnight, just to thoroughly degrease it from any fingerprints. I suppose if you wanted to create a personalized pen with your fingerprints etched all over it, that would be cool. And then I needed a plastic tub to put everything in, filled it with water, and about a tablespoon of baking soda. Then some titanium wire, which I sort of braided. Uh, I took three pieces of the same length and braided them together. Then I have some alligator clips, which I'll clip to the battery and to my uh, titanium wire and a cheap stainless steel fork which I will put into the solution and that'll be our anode or cathode depending on which is correct it does matter polarity matters you have to attach the plus to plus and the minus to the minus and this is optional but I've got a digital multimeter here uh, to check my voltages now let's do this the process is fast uh, so you have to keep an eye on it uh, because it goes quickly there's no way to go back other than removing the oxide and that involves some pretty dangerous chemicals but i think i have a line on something that might work we'll see how well i do with this 
One thing to note about this process, once you've created a color, the only way to change it is to apply a higher voltage to get a color higher in the chart. A lower voltage will not affect a color already created with a higher voltage. So if you do the whole thing with 100 volts and it's all in this really nice pink or purple color, you can't get a gold color out of it afterwards. You have to apply the gold low voltage first. So if I want a rainbow effect on my pen from the top of the color chart to the bottom, I could start with the lowest voltage and dip the entire pen. Then I can increase the voltage one battery at a time and dip progressively uh, larger portions of the pen uh, in the electrolyte to get a gradient. Well, that's the plan anyway. So here goes. Okay, here we go. I've got one battery attached and my fork in the electrolyte solution. And I wrapped my titanium wire around the section. And I'm going to dip the entire uh, pen in the 9 volts, which should get me a gold type color. And I've left the alligator clip on this end, so I can always stop the ionization anytime by just interrupting the circuit. Or I can just pull it out of the water. And let's see what I get. You see it goes rather quickly. It's turning a light gold right now. You can see that the bubbling on the anode. And I'm reading about 9.8 volts right now. It'll run to a maximum color for that 9 volts, for 9.8 volts. There we go. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the cap to get them all an even gold color. Now, the barrel isn't attached to the electrode, but I'm putting them together so I can match the color. And there we go. There they are. They're a nice light gold color at 9 volts. Now the trick is going to be to dip the pen in various amounts of liquid uh, and raise the voltage. Knowing that once we get to the higher voltages, I can't change that color again. So I think we're going to get to the higher voltages once we get to the tips of the pen. So I'm thinking that the end of the cap and the end of the barrel will be in that pinkish purplish color when I get to the higher voltages. Now I've got two batteries and that should be 18 volts and I'm just going to dip the end of the pen up to about almost to this section. Let's see what we get. Very interesting. It's going a bronzy color now and actually going a little bit purplish. And that just took a couple of seconds. Now let's try it with the cap. I'm just going to try to do the end of the cap here. So now I've got eight batteries. I think I'm at uh, 72. If <laughs> I do my math correctly. Let's see what we get out of this. Well, that's really moving. I wanted to get a more even pattern, so I didn't want to um, have a waterline mark on it. I do want to see what happens at these higher voltages. Yeah, it's going quite rose. I like that. Let's try with the barrel. Well, it goes quite quickly. Leave the tip in there until you get the job done. That's what she said. It's going quite rosy. I like that. That's the purple that I was looking for. There. Not bad, if I do say so myself. I think I might want to make that a little bit 
deeper. I'm wanting to match that end. Let's step it up another battery and see what happens. Just for the tip. And another one. Okay, so I should be at a hundred volts, 99 volts, a little bit less. And now we're gonna do the whole 12 yards. Let's try it with the barrel. Sorry if my hands are in the way here, but I have to be able to see what I'm doing. Always important to know when to stop. So here's my final result. There's a couple of lines on there, but I don't mind that so much. Thought I got quite a good effect. I think the pen looks very nice when it's put together. I think that looks pretty good. Now on to the TI-200. Okay, here we are with the Moonman TI-200 Titanium. I've got the cap and I've got uh, two 9 volt batteries, 18 volts. Thought I'd start with 18 because I like that bronze color I get at 18. I'm going to do the whole pen in that bronze and see how I like it. Wow, that's very pretty. 18 volts. I think I'm going to leave that. And I've screwed the titanium between the section and the barrel. We'll see what we can get out of it. I'm thinking that I want to go lighter on the tip and darker on the bottom of the barrel. That's just with two batteries, folks. Wow, I think I like that. I think I'm done. See, it didn't affect the stainless steel insides of it. The stainless steel nozzle on that. Let's get a better view of that. Look at that. How do you like that? I like it a lot. I think that's a success. Boy, that turned out very, very nicely. Doodle dog. Pickle Rick. Now let's put the pens back together again and we'll see what they look like. Okay, here are all the parts for the RS1. I don't know what this little doohickey does, but we need to put it back on. I saved my little screws by putting them on a magnet. Then I put the magnet on the screwdriver. That helps seat these tiny little screws. There, now to put the cap liner back in. Put the feed back in. And the nib, converter, back into the barrel, and there we are. One lovely pen. What do you think? I like it! Now the Moonman TI-200 is going to be a little bit more challenging to put back together again. It's got that hooded nib and there's a spring loaded clip. I knew how it came apart, I think. So the TI-200 was a little bit more challenging to get back together again with that spring loaded clip. But I think it turned out very, very nicely indeed. I like how light gold the uh, section is. And then it fades to this purpley kind of uh, blue in the middle and then goes to gold at the end again. And then it goes to some kind of a deep purple there too. So it looks very bronzy uh, and very interesting. So I think that's a success.
If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever a new video is posted. And don't forget that you can join as a member of my channel for only 99 cents a month, and I guarantee I'll answer all your comments, and you get cool emojis and badges too. And that just leaves it for me to say, thank you for watching, and that's all she wrote. Doodle Dog! I made this.